This is question number five of IIT Jam Economics uh, 2021 exam. Let's see what the question is saying. Which one of the following is not a feature of new industrial policy? Now, the new industrial policy that came in 1991 ideally is nothing but LPG. Liberalization, privatization, globalization. Liberalization said that we have to uh, open up our economy. We have to go ahead and remove all the restrictions. Globalization is a better version of liberalization where we kind of went ahead and we said to trade with the foreign world, remove restrictions. Privatization is where we kind of go ahead and we, uh, you know, uh, we privatize the public sector. We don't need the public sector anymore. Now, as far as this is concerned, and if we have to see which is the features of new industrial policy, then abolition of industrial licensing is a feature of new industrial uh, policy because we no more had uh, licenses. So, you know, the number of licenses that were required to start a business was were reduced. And this was made to ease business. We wanted to ease the way that business is conducted. The second thing was privatization of public industries. Yes, this was done. This was done because we understood that many of the public sector was unproductive. So two main initiatives were taken. One, we privatized those who were unproductive. Secondly, we closed a lot of the public sectors because they were unproductive. So, you know, these two major steps were taken. Removal of restrictions on foreign trade. Yes, that is part of globalization. It was done. Restriction on foreign technology agreement. So, you know, this is because we are actually removing the restriction. Putting restriction on anything was not under the new policy agreement. So, the answer is D. Now, let us go ahead and just read about what new industrial policy is. So, the new industrial policy was basically, uh, you know, launched in 1991. And uh, the basically... Uh, the reforms that the new industrial policy uh, brought were mainly LPG, liberalization, globalization, privatization. As part of the policy, what happened was that we redefined the role of the public sector. The public sector was no more the only sector solely responsible. And we kind of brought the private sector in a lot of fields, like, for example, the telephone sector, the communication sector, to be precise, and uh, many other. Now, similarly, foreign investment was, you know, kind of welcomed under the policy. The most welcoming change was the abolition of the industrial licensing. So these are the three main things which were done as part of the new industrial policy. The policy uh, made changes in the following aspects. First, reduce the number of licenses give an end to the licensing regime and only five industries required licensing. Second, foreign direct investment. We were allowing the foreign sector to directly come and invest in India. And this happened only after 1991. Third, foreign technology agreement. Free transfer of technology was allowed. You can use our technology, no charges. We can use your technology, no charges. So, you know, as against restriction on the foreign technology agreement, we actually allowed foreign technology agreements. Fourth, public sector enterprises. The role of public sector was redefined. And, you know, whichever were non-performers were either closed or they were put under the private sector. Under this, there was reduction in the reservation of the public sector. You know, earlier the areas which were reserved for the public sector, we now gave a lot of those to the private sector. Disinvestment in case of non-performing public sector enterprises. Again, this is nothing but closing them down. And autonomy and accountability. We started 
making them accountable for the work that they were doing we asked them as to what they were doing we kind of uh, you know no more gave them full freedom but rather we made them accountable for their actions so this is all about the new industrial policy